that's if the z-axis is off, that's the, you know, your flexural deformities and your position. From the, those horses are more likely to trip, especially if their front end is pushed out in front. They're more likely to bow tendons. They're going to be heavy on the forehand. So can you tolerate having a heavy on the forehand horse for dressage? The horse has to load its hind end. If he's heavy on the forehand, you're at a disadvantage before you even start. If you have a horse that's very base narrow behind, then his hips are gonna rock sideways before he can move himself forward on every step. So that's a handicap to dressage. And that horse will not only not do dressage well, but will be you know, um, a horse that's sore very easily when he's forced to use the hind end. So these are specific things that, especially for dressage work, that you would not want to have in a horse. The other one we see a lot of is what we call the high-low syndrome or the mismatched feet. One foot's very upright, one foot's very flat. And so these horses are very good going in the direction of the flatter, wider foot and very poor going in the direction of the upright foot. And there are certain things we could do shoeing to help these horses, but still you're starting off with a handicap because most dressage, for instance, is 50% one way, 50% the other way. The hunter ring and jumper ring, most of the jumps are set up that you're going, you know, 50% in one direction, 50% in the other. So horses use at speed and, and for collection and so on in these various disciplines, they have to be somewhat symmetrical or we have to recognize it and help them with the shoeing to um, make up for where they're not symmetrical.